Aloha everyone, I'm Susan Nutowitz with Let'sFeelExcellent.com or the YouTube channel by the same name. So what I want to talk to you in this blog is a thing called trigger points. And some of you out there get regular massage and you know about trigger points and some of you call them pressure points because sometimes when people come to see me and they say, you know, I'd like to book a massage and I would really like you to press on the pressure points. And I'm going, okay, which ones? Because are you talking about meridian pressure points? Are you talking about acupressure points? Are you talking about trigger points? Because we're talking about bazillions of places to press in the body. And so let's talk about tr trigger points because a lot of massage therapists learn this as a, as a great deal of their massage training that if you just hold these areas in the body, like say there's um, a symptom felt, and it, the symptom could be uh, let's let's take the neck because the neck is classic for actually holding a lot of different causes, and that is what creates the um, pain sensations in the neck. But let's say uh, people have uh, tension back here in their neck, which is incredibly common. It always makes me laugh when people come to my office and they say to me, could you just give me uh, a little tension relief here because this is where I hold all my tension. Well, yeah, you and the rest of the world, right? <laughs> it's not unusual. We're using our hands all the time. Our whole world's in front of us except what we want to get in the back seat of the car. but. Everything is in front of us. Our stimuli is in front of us. It pulls our heart, it pulls our eyes. Everything is forward. And so that brings the pressure, the stretched area in the neck. So these little, or big, fibers, they need to break. They need to break so that you don't come completely forward and fall into your laptop. So. Let me just let you know how muscles work. And, and I was also explaining what trigger points are. So trigger points, uh, we learn like, say, this trapezius, uh, you feel tension here. Well, there's like a map that Janet Travell uh, developed, Dr. Jan Janet Travell, uh, who is John F. Kennedy's doctor. And she developed this map and said, well, if there's tight bands in the muscles, if the muscles are held in contraction here, then that, that means that there could be um, trigger points felt even up here uh, and different areas because the pain can refer to other places that aren't exactly contracted, but they're, they're saying, you know, we need help here. And so that's what a trigger point is. And I haven't really had a, a deep experience with the theory of you just press on the trigger point until those tight bands in the trigger point melt away and then the muscle is totally restored. Because if I have trigger points here because I'm doing something like this, then also there's gonna be a hold here and you know holds down here and a hold hold here because this is going to have to extend and so just different bands are going to have to also contract in the body and if i don't restore this whole system and actually put the head back on the shoulders and then the rib cage where it needs to go relative to the pelvis and the pelvis where it needs to go relative to the feet then um, I don't have a body that's flowing from head to toe. And so there could be tight bands all up and down that body. And if I just release the brake here, the next person, the pe the, I'm sorry, the next time the person goes to be on their la laptop or read a book or get in their car and drive, the same tight bands are going to contract again with memory. So when we contract a muscle over and over and over again, um, we have a little automatic responder built into us. And the automatic responder goes, 
okay, I get it. The brain says, okay, I get it. You want to do this every single day for large amounts of time during the day. Or you want to do this every single day. I get it. I'm automatically there. And it will automatically do it. So it doesn't help, in my opinion, just to press on the tight band until it releases because there's other um, structures that are involved in it. Also, it has memory, and the memory will just recreate the situation faster than we can uncreate it. There's more efficient ways to take care of it. One way is the one the way I mentioned, and that's to restore the structure. And another way is to uh, work lymphatically on the trigger point. If I can get in there and get the lymph the uh, little lava tubes of the lymphatic system open, then the circulatory system will also open. We have 100% of fluid running through that tissue. Those bands cannot be, they can't be tight together anymore. Uh, this does help, but it takes a lot of time to do that to all of the structures involved. It's far more efficient from what I've seen to restore the structure and get the body functional to that person. And then they can just go out and function in their life in a way that's much more optimal for them. And um, what I do further on top of that is I go, okay, you know, you have these repeated tight bands that are happening. And uh, I do it for multiple fibers, so we don't have to do this thing where it's like, okay, we'll take care of these fibers, and then these fibers, and then these fibers. That would drive you nuts. So what I do is I go, okay, so what would be the single most effective thing for this client to do in their home life to reinforce this treatment and get mileage out of this treatment? So this is how I add value to the treatment because you know, in another thing we learned in massage school is, well, you want your, your clients to be regulars. You want them to come every week, and then you can just sit there without any personality and just do the moves, and then they can come back, and they're going to recreate all of these dysfunctions again, and you can just come in and recreate the moves, and they'll really like it. It'll be yummy ah, boring no i want to empower you so so then i give you a movement exploration and i've developed leverage movement therapy to actually get leverage on that structure and so you can be at home putting your own head back on your neck and shoulders after your eight hours in your laptop or 30 hours on this project or um, 10 hours driving, you know, driving intensely or on the phone or whatever. I mean, some people still use phones and they still do this. Or some people are <laughs> trying to cradle it in their, their cell phones <laughs> like that and things like this. So, you know, however you live your life, uh, I would like to help you live it better and in just, um, not only be the iron to iron out these kinds of things, but really also get your brain involved. And so that way you're more interested, I'm more interested, and you'll be more interested. And then uh, we can just have a really good time. Like, oh wow, that's so cool. You know, I used to think that I just had this problem in my foot and then it was diagnosed as plantar fasciitis. And I thought, you know, I'm just, Stuck with it. I just have to not run, and I don't know what. It's it's just really painful, and I wish it would stop. You know. Well, what if we got that foundation underneath your pelvis supporting you? And what if we got the juice flowing back in the feet, all the way up? It connects all the way up to your brain, you know, all the way up to your head, and then you can bring that fluid all the way back up into your head too. So it's in your head and your feet. And so you got uh, juice in your feet and in your head. So I think that's a, a better alternative than pressing on pressure, pressure points 
and I think it helps you as well to understand how the body works a little bit more and how to keep, take care of yourself and have more time for laying on the beach or whatever it is you want to do. Okay, I'm Susan Nutowitz with letsfeelexcellent.com. If this video is valuable to you, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anybody that you think uh, would also be interested in my crazy ramblings on. <laughs> I want you to have an excellent day. Aloha.